Now, on to uh, social matters this evening. A new report from True Caller shows that 9 out of 10 women have experienced mobile phone harassment and only 2 out of 5 of these uh, report the incidents to the police. Surprisingly, here in Kenya, 47% of the perpetrators are actually inmates from prison. And the most affected areas are Nairobi, Mombasa, Kiambu and Nakuru. But um, how exactly would men react if they were the actual recipients of these uncomfortable messages? Well, we did a social experiment and we invited some of these men to read these messages out loud. Their reactions were hilarious. Take a look. Hi, my name is Yafesi and I'm chilling out with Ben Psycho. Hey. Hi, my name is Jason Bruno and today I'll be reading some of the messages men have sent to ladies in their DMs. I'm Vic Chege, also reading DMs. Yeah, we have screenshots here. Yeah. And they're creepy. Like, hey, accept my friend request. Mwah! <laughs> uh, if you single, mm -hmm. when I come to Kenya, I will marry you. Yeah. Have a good day. You're a very beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Being threatened with marriage. Hi, top model. How are you? Looking good. Hmm. Luscious lips. We should chat. Says, hi, H-A-E. Now, I don't know if it's I am, I am. It's I am. Oh, it's I am, I am. Yeah. Gospel, misspelled gospel DJ. Please give me you number, please. Please. PLZ. No. It keeps it short, precise, yeah. and complicated. Let's make a baby, Shiro. <laughs> this one has no time. I just love you. Yeah. The love is L-U-V. I just love you. Because mm. hua unanibamba ksana. <laughs> My God. Ksana. I think I think this one sent it while they were on midterm. <laughs> Let me not find you. In fact, I will toot you in the toot. There was a report that was done and it revealed that a lot of women, especially in Nairobi, in Kenya, mm. are getting a lot of uh, messages that are harassing, especially from guys that are in prison. Mm. Why? First of all, where do you think they're even getting the numbers from? Is there a random guy who just sits there on like oh, oh. just like zero seven four four, and then it's like <gasps> actually, then it's 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 a lady's name, and it's like ah, same place they get the numbers to send us messages saying we've won oh, yeah. things and yeah. all that. But it's, it's an equal ground because they also cool send ground. us for you know mtoto wako ameshikwa. So how do you think women can protect themselves and be safer? Block, block, block all these guys. Mm -hmm. We should make this public. And we should report this thing so that it doesn't look normal. I think also we should ask really what can men do because yeah, it's a problem actually, caused yeah. by us, yeah, not it's, them. Mm. People need to unlearn, you know, and start respecting women and start seeing women as, you know, as, as, as the beautiful beings that they are. And you need permission and you need consent to do, so, to do or say something. Avik, how would you feel if you received these messages? Please, man. Yeah, I'd be freaked out. This would actually make me go to a police station. I'd probably move houses. In <laughs> countries. <laughs> <laughs> now there's creeps everywhere. You know? And then there's a myth that women tell ourselves yeah. that you only respect a woman. Yeah. You respect women because they are our, they are our sisters, sisters, they are our mothers, mothers yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. No, we respect them because that's what you're supposed to do. It's the right well, thing to do to a fellow human being. Bus. <laughs> <laughs> Mkamburi's face the whole time. Has this ever happened to you, Mkamburi? The harassment? Yeah. Of course. Oh, uh, yeah. I've been harassed not, not once, not twice. Like, there's this guy who used to call me, I think, in a day, 89 times. 89 I'm not, I'm times? I'm not Are you exaggerating? I'm not. <laughs> and then it, it gradually went yeah. until it got to 11. I... And then he maintained it 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> so, oh, oh. has this happened Ooh. to you? Evelyn? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think for me, the mistake was I sent um, a request for employment on WhatsApp. Oh. And then the minute people send it to many other WhatsApp uh, groups, yeah. Hey, people have my number, so I was just in trouble. What's the worst that's happened to you? Um, people sending me nudes to catch my attention. They sent you nudes? Yeah. Wow. Men, oh my Men. God. Men, yes. Zach, as the resident yeah. man on the panel. <laughs> what is the, I mean, you're from True Caller. Yeah. What is the most shocking thing for you about this report in Kenya? I think the issue that we, we saw is 11% of women uh, saw it like, mm -hmm. you know, didn't, majority of the people didn't see it as harassment. So it has become so normalized that in your daily life that you'll have 89 calls, you're getting nudes. It's, it's, been, it's been normalized. And I, I don't think it's fair towards women and 
even to any any of our users to have this type of lifestyle where you're just bombarded every day right. and you don't see it as harassment especially in Kenya yeah we compared it to other countries but again it, it seems like it's it's extremely so that Mukamburu, actually he raises a good point that women don't report why didn't you report that because that's clearly 89 times in a day it was it was creepy but at the end of the day it's like where are we reporting yeah. i think that's the question because even if we yeah. take it to the police station mm -hmm. even yeah, if we what? take it to whoever we're like who are we supposed to report to that please yeah. like probably Shukola needs to have like a portal where yeah. we're saying we're reporting these guys and they've been flagged but right now there's only too much we can do and also i think people getting to understand exactly what harassment means because i think it starts from um you know just wasting my time and trying to catch my attention then it gravitates towards sending me unhealthy content yeah, yeah. you know i mean zach the, the issue of prison because uh, did that surprise easy. you guys yeah. this prison you know, 47 i mean that that's being idle, <laughs> being I mean, there's, idle. Nothing else, there's nothing else there <laughs> what, doing is, right tell us, uh, give us more context on the whole prison thing yeah so one out of five women are number one sexually har harassed yeah but then 47 percent is literally inmates who are it's literally scams yeah okay. so Again, you know, when you guys enter the building, you write your number. So at least we saw in the report 10% of all women at least give out w once a week their number. But there's an infrastructure where it goes, uh, the people in committee are able to get this information and, you know, create a lot of scams. So we, we saw this type of trends for the past two, three years. So when we decided to take in this user stories and we started hearing more from our uh, female users, it clearly showed this is a phenomenon that doesn't... So they, they take your number yeah. and then they create a scam around it that yeah. Yeah. they pretend to be what, like, uh, like some so safari yes. or whatever. From a telco. Yeah. What? They'll, they'll try to confirm with you, giving and you information. Is this your M-Pesa mm -hmm. balance? Is wow. this your serial number? And it's, it's a lot of information that they have that they're able to give you the sense of, you know, uh, comfort that yeah. this is a Safaricom. Yeah. And then, you know, when Safaricom gets these numbers and try to pinpoint where it is, majority it's is from Kamiti. Mukambori, give us some tips. How can we avoid <laughs> falling into that pit? <laughs> Honestly, I think the only thing, like, which is sad, yeah. but it's the only thing that works right now. Block, 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 block. Block, block. Block, <laughs> block report, flag as spam. Yeah. 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 Yes, so that at least, look, if the person tries to call somebody else if again, you, yeah. it just screams spam. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, you sort of help people within the ICT yeah. space, yeah. cybersecurity. Why are women so vulnerable? What is, what is going on? Well, I think, number one, very many people um, looking for affirmation, and unfortunately, we all look for affirmation in all the wrong places. Yeah. I've uh, not social media, you know, and I think mainly on social media. So if someone is trying to just kind of be nice to you. Yeah. yeah. And where yeah. are they getting this data? Like, you once told me, Sharon, you see you're giving your, your name to Jumia app, to which app, I mean, blah, blah, blah. If you look at the, 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 the comparison of online shoppers, women are way higher in terms of online shopping, and you're always leaving your contacts there. So today you've logged into, say, uh, Jumia Eats, and then tomorrow you want to uninstall the app, but where does your data go to? Do you know? Where does your data go to? We are Clearly living, yeah, to we are living in a data mining um, era, so yes. What can we do to, uh, to uh, avoid that? I Should mean, we stop using these apps? Of course you can't stop using this app. You're buying convenience. So this is a punishment for convenience, obviously. <laughs> but I think people need to get aware of uh, what kind of data they need to send out there. Um, this private data, personal data, and I think it's not just women who are vulnerable. You imagine if you have a child yes, um, who is getting gets phones so yeah, early so, I mean, if my child wants a phone right now, I will register it with my ID. So that, so that means yeah. my data is out there. <laughs> from your, just, you know, the whole study, what, what do you think could be some useful tips from, you know, some recommendations for women? Yeah, I think uh, we need... Uh, Women have to have a, a stronger voice, and authorities have to take this seriously. Uh, we we give you the ability to you know block, and you can do like call recording to use this as evidence. But I think authorities have to step up, and as a society, especially men, has to have a responsibility of you know uh, you know respecting women like full stop. Mm -hmm. And I think you know there's a lot we can do. Yeah. Um, but again, it's unfortunate that this situation is like at this moment. It really is unfortunate that this yeah. situation is And I think 